Hi, it's Adam here from Music Radar. Welcome back to another fantastic free synths video. Uh, this time we're looking at something quite different. This is a synth called Xenos by Raphael Radner. Previously, we've looked at more traditional forms of synthesis, uh, like subtractive synthesis and other things like that. This is actually based on the principle of stochastic synthesis. Stochastic basically means something that has a random pattern, and in musical terms, it was pioneered by the Greek composer Yanis Xenakis. He started experimenting with this sort of thing in the 60s, he came up with loads of interesting ideas and Xenos takes those principles and applies them to this brilliant free plugin. I'm not going to get super in-depth into the maths and the science behind stochastic synthesis and behind Xenos here. Uh, I'd encourage you to read the article on musicradar.com which goes into a lot more detail. What we're going to do here is a quick overview and then uh, let you hear some sounds that's possible to create with this plugin. So this is what Xenos sounds like when it's first loaded up. <laughs> So you get this kind of organy, reedy, subtly changing tone. You can see here there's not many controls, but uh, you may notice some of the labeling is quite odd if you're used to more traditional synthesis. There's basically three sections to Xenos, pitch, amplitude, and a global section, all color coded, red, green, and blue. And we'll start over in the pitch section. Now stochastic synthesis is based on creating random waypoints, which are then joined together to create a waveform, but done in such a way that it's not just noise because uh, random waveforms will just create various forms of noise. Uh, so that's what you're doing here. You're basically controlling um, those waypoints and controlling how much the fluctuation of those waypoints is handled. So basically, starting in pitch, um, you've got this width control, which defaults to one semitone and goes all the way from naught up to 96 semitones. And that's basically changing how much the pitch fluctuates around the initial note. The barrier control is uh, determining how much the waveforms uh, the waypoints of the waveform will go up and down, how high um, they can go on a vertical scale. And step determines the pitch randomization in ratio to the pitch range, uh, which is the width. In sound terms, the higher that is, the more noise-like it will become. Underneath these three sliders, um, you'll see a distribution drop down, which uh, contains a selection of different randomization algorithms, um, which I'm definitely not going to go into exactly how they all work. Um, if you're really into it, I'd advise getting an, into the Xenos manual where they're all explained in uh, great mathematical detail. The walk option contains primary and secondary options. Basically, primary keeps the randomizations more closely tied to the center line, uh, whereas a secondary walk uh, allows them things to veer further off and be a bit more random. Underneath that, you've got alpha and beta controls. Again, there's a lot of complicated maths going on behind this. But summing it up simply, alpha controls kind of pitch fluctuations. Um, the closer that is to zero, the less extreme the pitch fluctuations will be. Beta control is a similar to the alpha control, which is kind of a secondary way of doing that. Although this wouldn't have any effect on some of the algorithms. So on some of the distribution options, you won't hear that doing anything. It's really the kind of synth you just get in there, start tweaking things and experimenting. The amplitude section um, contains very similar controls to the uh, pitch section. Um, instead of width, you've got gain, but you've also got your barrier and step controls. Uh, again, the same distribution options and the same walk options with an alpha and beta control. So here the gain is changing how much the amplitude, uh, the volume is fluctuating. <laughs> The global section uh, might feel a bit more familiar. You've got your standard ADSR volume envelope uh, and then a scale so you can lock the tuning to various different scales, various uh, simple ones like pentatonic, blues, major, minor. 
but also some more out there stuff like uh, Broken Pierce, uh, Overtone and Octatonic. And you can also click load to load in your own scales. Root controls your root notes uh, in microtonal increments, so it's not just in semitone steps. And you can see you can get really detailed uh, root note adjustments there, which is going to affect the pitch section and the width that the pitches are fluctuating around. And segments controls the overall number of segments or waypoints that exist within a wave cycle. Again, check out the full article on Music Radar. There's some diagrams there that might make things a little bit more clear. So that's pretty much all the controls are on the synth. You've got just a keyboard display down the bottom here. It probably doesn't make a whole lot of sense at the moment unless you've studied this stuff already. Um, but you can load up the synth for free. You can start fiddling with it and start playing with these controls and seeing what crazy sounds you can get. I'm going to fiddle around here and create a few different sounds just using these uh, different parameters and just so you get an idea of what Xenos can do. So that is an extremely brief overview of uh, stochastic synthesis and Xenos in particular. I'd encourage you to download this for free if you like to get experimental with your music. Um, jump right in there, start twiddling with faders and things, but also read the article on Music Radar which goes into a lot of detail uh, and has lots of diagrams and things like that. And then after that, jump straight into the manual uh, and start learning what all of this actually means. But for now, that's all from me. So look out for some more fantastic free synths videos very soon.